Hi guys, Jay Smith here. It's down at Bray Golf Range in Suffolk, in the UK. And um, welcome to winter. Welcome to winter's morning. So today what we're gonna do, we're gonna have a little uh, look at an update to a video, which quite a few people liked. But they wanna see the update to it. So the video we're talking about was the JPX 919 Forge versus the MP20 HMB. So that kind of bracket of golfer where you're thinking that your shall we go into the like Mizuno players range or shall you go into slightly more like forgiving range of golf clubs but like the, the, the better side to it. So we're gonna have a look at that one. We're gonna do the update, the JPX 921 Forge against the HMB. Let's go indoors, let's go get everything set. Let's go get all the cameras out. And let's go see if we can get an idea how these compare feel performance wise. MP20 HMB to start. There's that typical HMB or MP20 feeling with a copper underlay that you're going to get with these things. All the MP20s have got it. Um, it's Mizuno's answer to try and make that Mizuno feel more Mizuno like. Because um, it did get a little bit away from it. And the, it's probably like the MP4, MP5 was one of the nicest feeling blades there was. And then when it comes to the MP18, it got a little bit. I'd say the feeling was just a little bit lost, but yeah. So we're back now with copper underlay to the old school feeling of just buttery loveliness. Obviously this is the hollow version though, the MP20 HMB. Hot metal blade, this is the hollow version with tungsten weights in the back. I mean, I've got a normal video of this. If you want to go through all the techie side of things, then by all means up there, whack it up on. Yeah, that side, I think so. Um, if you want to go in detail about what's inside this, so basically hollow head design, satiny kind of finish rather than the chromey chromey. Um, tungsten in the seven to four iron kind of idea, nothing in the eight to pitch and wedge idea, um, just because of the face. Um, as the loft gets more, the, it's, it's such a, like a glancing blow that you don't actually get to use. Well, yeah, anyway, um, it's more so with the 91. There's, you, you have a look. So, I mean, down by the ball when it comes to um, this, it's a medium to, I wouldn't say it's not a thick top line at all. I mean, it's a confidence inspiring top line. It obviously, the, the blade um, and the MMC got slightly smaller, but um, this is slightly thicker. Um, blade length isn't much different. It's just because of the slightly thicker top line, it just looks a little bit more boxy. Um, but again, I, I, I spent a season with CF16s from Callaway and I do like that little boxy uh, look from an iron gives you a bit more confidence um, when it comes to shaft dissolver taper 120 uh, standard length exactly the same spec so basically the only difference in loft between 32 for the HMB and 31 for the other little thing we're going to be testing straight after but yeah so this is um, a bit more confidence inspiring down by the ball rather than seeing this little butter knife idea when it comes to the blade second ball again Again, again, again. You can't complain with these. Now, obviously, the mist is coming from that direction, moving in. So I'm losing the ball as it's going mid-air. But the good thing is we've got quad on the floor and we've got FSX Mobile capturing flights. So you can see much better than me. But I'm getting an idea, how, obviously, how it feels more than anything else. And that's a great thing, I suppose, if you can't see flight and just concentrate on feel. Um, it, there is a bit of a difference when it comes to the next one which is interesting. And we'll go into that one when we, uh, when we do it. But um, yeah, I, I, I could very easily game these. I, I, will, I would never come away from my blades, but when, I, when it comes to like a four iron or something like that, I would have to go into a, something like a HMB or a Hot Metal Pro, just because of the added up, up that you get. Um, I don't produce enough speed or dynamic loft to be able to um, hit a blade four iron. Who hits blade four irons nowadays? Last one. I mean, it's. I. I it's a HMB. So it basically does what you tell it to do. Um, if you're going to put a good swing on it, a good strike, it will do a certain job. And if you don't, it won't do that certain job that you want. It's not supposed to be necessarily a game improvement club. Um, it's supposed to bridge that gap between the, the, the player who wants to go into something a bit more 
players like, but can't go straight into a blade or, or an MMC or something of that nature. They want something that's gonna look very much so like the players, but has a little bit of help. So then we'll go to the other idea. Let's go flick over to the JPX 921 forged. Same seven iron again, but one degree difference in loft. And then a little bit difference in tech, but yeah, we'll go flick over and then we'll go see how that looks and feels. All right, back now, JPX 921 forged. Um, seven iron, again, saying that, but there's a difference with the seven irons when it comes to um, the 921. Where in the HMB you have tungsten, which then comes out of the uh, equation when it goes to the scoring iron, should we say. Um, when it comes to this, the 921 forged, it's the chromoly factor. Now, in the force five, six, seven, you have got the forged chromoly in there. When it comes to an eight, nine pitching wedge, et cetera, you haven't. And speaking with Mizuno, it's just basically, again, same reason. It's because of the loft factor. When you start getting past the seven eye into an eight, loft gets so much that you stop losing, or stop losing, you stop gaining, sorry, the effects of what a chromoly face would give. So it goes then straight back into a normal 1025E. When I did my um, crazy review, I'd done a, um, a 921 blending review. Again, pop that one up there if you wanna have a look. Most aggressive blending you could ever possibly do running from all the range and the whole entire JPX range in one bag. It was interesting sort of doing the lofts, but yeah, got it done, but, and it was an interesting vid anyway. There is a difference between the seven and the eight. Um, Oh, let's go hit one anyway, and I'll, um, yeah, we'll go to hit one. Yeah, so it's more of a punchy feel. Um, it's a bit more of a, it's not cracky. There's, it's definitely not cracky. What I would say though, is there is a, I can't see full ball flight because it's too misty. But what I can see is the initial kind of whoosh that you get. And you do get a little bit more of a explosive punch off the face with this. Um, and there is this, obviously with that, then there's a very, very slight difference in what you perceive as feel. It doesn't feel quite as nice as the HMB. If you go to the eight though, it does. And it's because you've got that 1025E against the grain flow chromoly. But yeah, anyway. Down by the ball though, I've actually, if anything, you're looking at top lines. Um, this has actually got a thinner top line by the looks of it, than the HMB. What's the blade length difference between the two? That's an interesting nothingness. Yep, that's an interesting nothingness. <laughs> so basically exactly the same thing. But it does, actually, if anything, if you were gonna look at this, I mean, same um, finish, the same satin finish, if you were to look at it from a, um, you'd actually say this was the player's iron because of the slightly thinner top line. But anyway, let's go have another little one. See how that one feels. Yeah, I mean, it's that, these do seem to be going a bit longer. Now I can't, it's, I'm just guessing by the initial flight because it's, it just seems to be coming off. Um, I don't know, it's a hard thing to explain. It just feels like it just goes forward more. But um, it's the feel. It's because I've hit the HMB first. If I'd have hit this one first, um, it would be no problem whatsoever, obviously going to HMB, all that feels a bit softer. Um, but yeah, it's just this one, after hitting the HMB with that, that copper underlay, um, it does make it feel a little bit explosive. It's not cracky, it's not offending to your ears like some manufacturers' irons, G700. Um, I mean, G700 was, was a crazy good club, but it just, the noise it made. Yeah, like a hybrid. But no, let's go to the last one of these. Yeah, I mean, like, you can't complain. I mean, it's, it's... If you hadn't hit something really soft beforehand, you would never even know the difference. Yeah, it does seem to be coming off the face a little bit more. Whoosh. It'd be interesting to see. Obviously, I can't really see here because the mist is coming in. So let's go hit this. Um, on GC Quad, loads of times, with a premium golf ball. 
to see how it actually performs when I can actually see ball flight and register distance, etc. I mean, obviously we've got, you'll be able to see the simulated flights on there because I've got um, FSX Mobile on the floor capturing everything. But it'd be interesting for me to see now because um, it's been a little while time since I've done um, the uh, test on the HMB. So it'd be quite interesting to see what difference it makes up against this one. So they, let's go in there, let's go to my custom fitting studio, let's go hit load of shots. And let's go see how they all perform when it comes to real ball testing. Mince pie, you can't beat it. Right, so we're now in the custom fitting studio. I've hit a load of shots. It's time to see how the HMB and the 921 Forge compare when it comes to real ball data, premium golf ball data. They see how they work. Right, HMB to start. Seven iron, 32 degrees. Ball speed, 123.1, launching at 19.4. Tiny little baby cuts, but 0.6 left with a tiny little bit of baby. Yeah, it was basically just, just straight. You, it was so small, you'd never see it. But spinning at 6.8, that's a very nice number to spin at. Um, 50.2 degrees of uh, descent angle, which is exceptionally healthy. Remember, I like 45 degrees. 45 degrees and more, you are definitely going to get stop on the green. As soon as you start going underneath that 45, 40, 45, it's one of those ones, depending on conditions, under 40 degrees, and it's bounding through. Um, offline, 0, 0.0, but bear in mind, that is made up of all the shots netted together, which is 0, 0.0, but you can see there from all the shots, I don't hit target all the time. I'm a human being. Um, peak height, 38 yards in the air. The interesting thing, the last two shots you can see there, I just tried to hit them higher, the workability side of a golf club. Um, I do find workability a bit of a joke because uh, it's probably one of many um, golf terminology uh, that is completely and utterly misunderstood or at least seen as, um, okay, you bought a blade, it can work the ball more and a game improvement iron can't work, well, deep playing rules guys, so yeah. So anyway, uh, 38 yards in the air, 42 when I want to get that up so I can get the ball up even higher if I wanted, um, and a carry on average 170. Let's go over to um, the head date, Robert, um, and you're looking at 93 miles an hour, uh, 2.8 degrees down, 0.2 out to in, 0.4 closed on average. So I'm, I'm generally speaking when it comes to my delivery, path is zero, face is zero to that I'm very bland. Um, of course, I'll move in and around every so often because I'll have sporadic poor shots, etc. But you can see where it's going. Loft. There's only one degree of static loft between these two. So, yeah, um, 28 degrees. And then one mil toe, seven mil low. So let's go over to the um, JPX 91 forged idea. And let's go see what the old ball speed on that. So 124.1. 123.1, I think it was, for the um, HMB. Yes, it was. So we've gained a mile an hour. One mile an hour. 18.8 degrees of launch. So we're launching now 0.6 less of a degree. Bear in mind, there's one degree static difference between the two clubs. 0.6 left and little tiny right again, little tiny baby fade. It looks basically straight. But with five, four spin. So five and a half thousand spin. So we're more than a thousand less than the HMB, which is the interesting side of things. And that's come from the design, the technology surrounding in the head. Um, 48, 48.7 degrees, sorry, when it comes to descent angle. So not quite the 50.2 that the HMB is delivering, uh, but still much more than functional. Um, it's still nice and high. Um, 1.8 yards offline on average, but 37 yards in the air. Now. 37 yards in the air may only be one yard short of the old um, HMB. Um, but I did done the same, I did the same thing. I tried to get, um, on a couple of shots there, you can see, I tried to get the golf ball up in the air to see what difference it would make. And I can quite at any point, I can get the golf ball going up. Um, if I hadn't hit those shots, the chances are the peak height would have been maybe two yards. Just uh, I should, probably should have disabled those, but yeah, it doesn't matter. You can see what I'm trying to do in the data set. Uh, 179 on average carry, which is nine yards longer than the HMB. Now, you could be saying, well, in that case, then, am I swinging faster and yada, yada, yada. Well, let's find out. So I was 93.3 when it comes to the um, head speed, club head speed of the forged. 
against 93.0. So 0.3 of a mile an hour, nothing. Um, angle of attack, 2.7 down. Angle of attack on the other one, 2.8, no difference. 0.1 of a degree, no difference. 0 0.1, 0 0.8 with a, face, a club uh, path and the phase two path. Absolutely, 0, 0, 0, 0. It's less than a degree, it's absolutely nothing. Loft, 27.1 against 28. So 0 0.9 of a degree. Remember, there's one degree of difference, guys. So I'm basically producing 0 0.9 of it. So I'm, uh, the 0 0.1 is escaping somewhere, but it's 0 0.1 of a degree. And then one mil toe, uh, or sorry, uh, six mil toe, four mil low. So I am 10 mil gross off of middle against eight mil gross off of middle when it comes to um, the HMB. Now, the strike is slightly different. On HMB, I'm one mil toe, seven mil low, which could potentially increase spin a bit. Against the uh, JPX 921 forged, I am six mil toe, four mil low. Now, I'm gravitating a bit more toey on the forged purely i believe because of the power frame on the 921 again if you want to see obviously all the technical bits up there link whatever it is to the actual video but the the 921 forged is more forgiving off of toe strikes and i feel as i'm doing that's probably what's making the, the difference anyway it wouldn't make that much difference to spin because the center of gravity on an iron is so close to the face you don't get the same gearing that you would do on a driver because the driver, the head being so much bigger, the center of gravity being so much lower and further back, more importantly, off the face. Um, movement in strike does then have an effect on spin profile and launch dynamics, but obviously at nine has very much less. So that's an interesting one. There's no difference whatsoever when it comes to club, delivery of the club. Um, it is just purely the head. That head is making a thousand and some difference in RPM of spin, which is effectively giving it its an extra nearly 10 yards of carry. Shall we do the forgiveness one? Yeah, let's do the forgiveness one. Let's flick over. Right, okay. Um, I'll pop this on the screen. I won't go into massive detail because obviously it takes a long time to do. And I don't want to make the video like massively long, but... There's only two clubs on the screen, so it shouldn't be too hard to fit my head on there and two clubs, but very, very quickly, you can see. The 921 Forged, uh, it does seem to be more forgiving off the toe than the HMB. Now, I purely believe it's that power frame. Yes, the 921 has only relatively been out a very short time, so the data set that I've got from it, from me hitting it and other people hitting it as well, is nowhere near as big as HMB. So the HMB's data, what you see there, is a lot more tried and tested. The HMB is more forgiving off of heel strikes than the uh, 921 forged. So depending on where you're gonna miss strike, the, okay, the differences are small, yet if you were to take all those differences and you have a collective miss on towards the toe, I would definitely go for a 921 Forged. The 921 Forged, the design of it, is definitely geared around making sure that the person who hits it off the toe, no difference to the HM Pro, uh, Hot Metal Pro, and the Hot Metal, that if you're gonna miss it out towards the toe, it's much more forgiving, much, much more forgiving. Um, and effectively, sometimes you could even argue that the sweet spot effectively is slightly out towards the toe. Hence why you're possibly on gravitating that way. Um, but, if you're someone who moves around the face and doesn't really collectively like dump all their missed strikes in one spot, then you could argue that the HMB would potentially be better than the 921 Forge. But you have a look at that, guys. Just freeze the screen, have a look at it. Digest the information if you can. Any questions, by all means, pop in the comments below and I'm, I'll do my utmost to try and make sure that I can try and answer as many as I possibly can. Um, very, very quickly, dispersion ring. It'd be interesting to see that. You can see the, the data on there. Um, even though the, um, the hot metal didn't go quite as far, if you look at dispersion pattern, actually, I'm dispersing worse when it comes to left and right. Now, left and right, remember, guys, it is me. It's nothing to do with the golf club. It is always, always the golfer. If you hear the caddies and, on tour, um, it's the caddy's job to get the right club. Yeah, it's the player's job to get the left and right right. Uh, and no different than this. 
actually, if you look at the data on there, you can see that yes, the hot metal pro, hot metal pro, the um, HMB, MP20 HMB, hot metal blade, is dispersing more left and right, yet it's tighter front to back. Standard deviation on the hot metal blade is three against the carry of 170, and then um, 179 when it comes to the JPX921 forged, but the standard deviation is four. So I'm moving more front to back when it comes to the forged. So, hope you liked that one. If you did, don't forget the little red button, that subscribe, down there, thumbs up, all that, YouTube loves it. Um, and little bell icon. If you can click that, that'll let you know next time I upload another video. Um, hope you like this one. A uh, bit of an update to the 919 forged against the um, HMB. And uh, yeah, go on, comment below. Let's do some other compares as well. Whack them down there and we'll see if we can help. Hope you well. Um, I'm not going to say Merry Christmas. It is very close though, so I'm tucking into my um, mince pie. <laughs> hope you well, guys. See you soon.